the ayat which are now coming following is they can be interpreted in two ways and there's just possibility as we read the text possibility of both but you know the second alternative is more preferable one is that actually ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam passed through some stages during his intellectual development he stage 1 to stage 2 and then to stage 3 and then he reached tawhid because you know he was born in a society which was worshiping idols worshiping the stars worshiping the king also all three types of shirk were there namrud he also claimed to be god and people were had accepted him then they used to worship the stars also then the idols also all types of shirk prevalent over there now from that he rose up so maybe that he went through an intellectual process and he rejected these things one by one and one by one and then he reached the top of tawhid and the second mode of expression the second mode of exegesis is that actually it was an argument he made to convince others otherwise you know a nabi can never be a mushrik even his infancy a nabi is protected from the very beginning so this is the second view and i subscribe to the second view but the wordings here they can accommodate the first view also falamma janna alayhi al-layl when the night came to him and covered everything raq aw kaban he saw a star qala hadha rabbi he said this is my lord a very shining star maybe it is my lord falamma afala but when he said qala la uhibbul afilin he said no i can't love those who said god cannot he cannot said he is forever forever so i can't accept so maybe it was a stage in his intellectual you know evolution but maybe it's only he used these words as an argument look people oh maybe maybe as you think this may be god but when it said oh see it is god how can god be god falamar al qamar abadan and when he saw the shining rising moon qala hadha rabbi he said okay this is a bigger thing it's very bright falamma afala when it also said qala la in lam yahdani rabbi la kunanna min al qaum al dhalin he said oh had my lord not directed me and guided me i would have gone astray i would have been from from among these people who have gone astray that is he rejected moon also falamma ra shams abadagat now when he says when he saw the sun rising qala hadha rabbi hadha akbar he said oh yes this is the biggest the greatest maybe this is our lord falamma afalat qala ya qaum inni bari'un mimma tushriku then sun also said he said oh my nation i declare my total rejection of all the shirk that you are making inni wajjahtu wajhiya lil ladhi fatara as-samawati wal ardh hanifa i have turned my face to the one who created all the heavens and the earth hanifan purely decidedly in singular determination i have turned my face towards him wa ma ana min al-mushrikeen and i am not going to make any shirk i am not going to make anything equal or partner to allah subhanahu wa taala i will only worship the one who has created i will worship neither the stars nor the moon nor for that purpose or for that matter the sun i will worship the one who created the stars and the moon and the sun wa hajahu qaumuhu now his nation his people disputed with him they are good with him hajahu hajja from hujja dali argument they started arguing oh what you are saying our four fathers were the fools they didn't know anything you think hajahu qaumu qala tuhajuni fillahi wa qad hadan he said 
are you disputing with me about Allah? And he has guided me. Now I can't go astray. وَلَا أَخَافُ مَا تُشْرِكُونَ بِهِ Behind this, you know, the background, they must have said, okay, now, you know, calamities will fall upon you. You have denied our gods, these gods will punish you. He said, وَلَا أَخَافُ مَا تُشْرِكُونَ بِهِ إِلَّا أَنْ يَشَاءَ رَبِّي شَيَاءَ I have no fear of these deities whom you are making equal or partner to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِلَّا أَنْ يَشَاءَ رَبِّي شَيَاءَ Except that my Lord decides something for me. If something unpleasant comes to me, it will be from my Lord. Not from this Lat or Uzza or other, you know, deities or your gods and goddesses. I don't fear them at all. وَسِعَ رَبِّي كُلَّ شَيْنْ إِلْمَا My Lord embraces everything in His knowledge. Nothing is out of His knowledge. أَفَلَا تَتَذَكَّرُونَ So, are you not reminded of these realities? وَكَيْفَ أَخَافُ مَا أَشْرَكْتُمْ How can I fear those whom you are declared to, to be equal and partners with Allah? وَلَا تَخَافُونَ أَنَّكُمْ أَشْرَكْتُمْ بِاللَّهِ And you are not fearing that you have declared associates with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the most heinous crime. This is the biggest crime against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you are not fearing Allah. Yet you have committed shirk with him. And you want to you intimidate me and you want to, that I should fear that there will be coming some punishment from these gods. You are associating with Allah, those for whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not sent down any authority. What does it mean? If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us in the Quran or in any revealed book that okay, I have adopted such and such as my son. You bow before him also. We would have bowed. Why not? If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had asked us, commanded us, or okay, I have taken him as a as a very close friend of mine, as we have read, but Allah Ibrahima Khalila, I have taken him as, as as my friend, personal friend. So you worship him also. Had he said so, we would have done. Ma lam yunazil behi sultana. Do you have any proof for these gods in any revealed book? No revealed book. Even those books which claim to be revealed, whether they are revealed or not, you will not find any shirk in them. This shirk has been concocted afterwards. You take to the gospels. Never. At no place in the gospel you find Trinity. Gospel according to Saint Matthew, Saint John, according to Saint Luke, all the four canonical gospels. No way Trinity there. You will find something, you know, in the letters of Paul and so all these things can be found over there, not in the gospels. Never. Even in Hindu scriptures, basic scriptures. If you read Upanishads, I happen to read, you know, a translation of Upanishads, which was published by this government, you know, United States of America, that sometime they were very fearful of communism. It is, you know, I'm talking about a time about uh, 45 years ago, when Russia was a very big threat for this Western, you know, society and system. Now, at that time, they were publishing the glorious Quran. They published, you know, the translation of Marmaduke Pichthal in millions, and distribu distributed it among the Muslims throughout the world. You read your books, please, and you, 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 please keep away from communism at least. In the same way, you know, Gita, Upanishads, very beautifully printed, English translations, I read them. In Upanishads, you find the finest and purest form of Tawheed. No shit. So actually, these are the concoctions of the lower grades and ranks of clergy because they are professionals. That becomes a profession with them. And that they need some exploitation of the people. Well, this is, this is the temple of such and such devta. So you have to 
come here and you have to you bring something you know and presents here and where do this where did that those presents go to them it was there you know wealth they were accumulating wealth you pay and you get a letter you know to Jib- to jibril that he is our friend let him go directly to the to the paradise and you have to pay something for that and these things have been happening in human history